Okay. So, starting off, showing a few of the things that I've worked on. So, ahead of the game is a program that was done in conjunction with uh, the Irish Football Association. I was the front person for it. And what it was is it's a, basically a mental health and wellbeing guide for clubs. As well as that, um, you can see the it's Smart to Talk wristbands. And the Smart to Talk wristband is a wristband that we have in the charity that I founded called Train to Be Smart. Um, the idea of the wristband is that when the yellow side is up, then you're feeling bright. And if the blue side is up, then you're feeling blue or down. And it's just a very visual message. And especially for the you know for the children and, and the people associated with trying to be smart. Also, I've worked um, in the past with um, what is Inspire now, a mental health organisation in Northern Ireland, to produce um, the art of coaching the beautiful game. They're in the, the process of being rebranded, and the whole idea of those is that it's a mental and emotional health message rather than the physical and technical skills of the game. Then, um, this is just a certificate that, that a lot of the, the children that are involved with Train to Be Smart would get, especially the grassroots stage. A lot of the work that we do surrounds uh, the character traits and building resilience within the children. So, you know, things like confidence, things like responsibility, things like empathy, or areas in which they'll receive a certificate for that area of, or, or skill. Um, also then, I've been involved with the, the Tech 5 programme and this, this is hugely important because I think anybody um, who wants to I suppose, better their mental health should look at these five areas. Those areas of being active, giving, connecting, taking notice and keep learning. And finally, um, this is just a, a, a book that I've been involved with and it's through the total um, football Academy and it's called Body, Brain and Beyond a Nutritional and Wellbeing Guide. So those are just a few of the areas that I've been involved with in the area of mental health. Um, I suppose I'll just talk as I go and um, within Centre Point itself, the, the multi-purpose uh, sports facility that we have which really caters for the mental health and, and I suppose the, the needs of the, the local community. So I always find that just having things up that I did within my career, so this for example, the, my, my career uh, appearances, goals, etc. Um, this is a Point of Light award which I received from the Prime Minister Theresa May at the time. Um, 2018 for my work within the area of mental health. Um, this is the advanced diploma in mental health and wellbeing coaching, which I did quite recently, and you know is hugely important to me in the work that I'm doing now. And that is the physiotherapy award, which I received in 2002. So that would have been um, actually just as I finished my full-time football career and then finally that's just uh, well that's my one of the international appearances uh, a bit of hard work from it so that's showing a little bit about the mental health area and this is an area that i would you know i would speak to people within this area in terms of a little bit of mental health and well-being coaching obviously it's it's difficult at the minute because of covid but as it opens up you know, then we're going to be doing a lot more of that. So just to bring you through, and I suppose this is a whistle top tour. Um, the next part of the facility is the physiotherapy and I suppose small gym. And the whole idea of this was actually developed for people that, that never suffered from anxiety, you know, lack of confidence. So what we would do is we would let people come in and use the small facility until they built up in confidence. Um, as we walk across, this is, that's Inspire. So that's just a, um, the logo for Inspire, who I do some work with. 
So we're just going to come out now to the um, to the reception area, and again, hopefully everything will open up fairly soon. So this is just um, the reception area, and.